Hey, Shook. I know it has been days, um, but here we are. And I need to be quick because I have. Say hi, niece. <laughs> She's sitting there nice and calm right now. So, yeah, we got to hurry up and get this done before she get restless. <clears throat> um, I have this in my hand, but um, I just wanted to show y'all what it was. You know, this is how you get your your um, sponsors and, you know, your ads. This is how you get it. So, um, they're going to get shout, shout outs all the time for me. <clears throat> and by they, I mean Scentbird. Um, Scentbird is a subscription type of thing. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> is this a subscription type of thing? She over there laughing. Um, where you get to pick um either perfume, cologne, <laughs> beauty product. You got something to say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got something to say? The f the floor is all yours. Okay, okay. I'm talking about the lip gloss. Um, this one is called Deck of Scarlet. Um, the color Love Spell. But this was I got this for the month of December. Um, I haven't picked out what I wanted to get for January, but I need to get on there and do that <clears throat> before they just send me whatever they want. But yeah, um, this and this is a good size lip gloss. Like this, it's not even like sample size is this is a good size um and i like the color okay let's get to the review um power season six episode 11 okay we start off with um andre singing to his daughter singing her a hymn rocking her to sleep and baby mom over there on the couch like this mad as hell she's really pissed because she's tired of new york she's tired of worrying about dre whether or not he's gonna make it home or not um and she got a daughter to worry about <laughs> so um yeah she's upset about that she's like i'm i'm ready to move we need to leave and he's like i'm not going back to london with you not london Vegas my sister you can stay at my sister's house she got a pool let's go there and he's like mm, why go there when I'm at the top of my game I'm at the top of my operation is at the top right here in, in New York how I don't know he ain't got the first piece of product he ain't got no crack he ain't got no cocaine he ain't got no mollies he ain't got no weed he ain't got none of that but he's at the top of his operation Dre really sends me okay he really sends me um, uh oh, he, um, he tells her, you know, like we could own New York. Sorry if I'm brushing up against the mic. He tells her we can own New York. We ain't got to, we ain't got to rent no more. We can own New York. And she's like, I'd rather rent than to be buying your casket. <laughs> so, you know, he, he, she makes a good point with that. And he's like, okay, whatever. And gives her a hug, kind of appeases her. And while he's hugging her. Anyway, while he's hugging her, he sees on the news that Ghost is running for lieutenant governor. She is getting a kick out of this. <laughs> Excuse her, guys. Sorry. Um, he sees that Ghost is running for lieutenant governor with the Walsh lady, the, you know, the pandering white woman that wants blackface to get the black votes. Um, he sees that and immediately goes to sex house. Like what? I thought we took care of him. I, I done planted evidence for you. He should be in jail. How is he running for anything? What What's going on? And Sax is like, it ain't nothing. Listen, I, it, it's out of my control. You got me fired, remember? So it's only so much I can do. But I got you. We're going to get him. I got you. Trust me. Trust you? I don't trust you. I got me. You and you in some trouble. Bitch ass. <laughs> so he leaves Sax house. And then he goes and gets his um, crew. And he got his crew together. And um, every time, every time I talk, she like, I got something to say too. 
I want y'all to be able to hear me though. So I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a keep down while she's piping up. Okay, she's quiet. Um, he gets the crew together and the crew, um, you know, they're like, they're wondering what a product is. And he's like, well, listen, it's, it's, it's going to be a delay on the product, but I'm get, I'm going to get you the product. I ain't working with the Serbians no more. And as he's saying that, the Serbians are walking in with their tools up, you know? Stand, hold, hold it, stop, halt. <laughs> Put your hands up. We want Dre. Unless you want to die today. I suggest y'all put them guns down and just give us Dre. And Dre is like, <laughs> Dre is like, we ain't going to do that. Y'all better not do that. Don't be stupid. The minute you put that gun down, they're going to shoot you. Trust me. Y'all know me. Y'all don't know them. And um, somebody just fires off the gun. And now we got a shootout. And they shooting at each other back and forth. The Serbians and Dre's crew, everybody, people getting dead. Because <laughs> I think the only two people that walked No, Dre was the only one person That walked up out of there alive I don't know how that always happens But I, I, Anyway Dre gets shot And he used his good old friend His friend from prison He used him as a human shield Dre really is the worst type of person ever You done big You done boosted him up Brought him in the crew you know, shouting them out, having y'all a little reunion or whatever, just to hold him in front of you when the bullets is flying. Um, he, um, he gets out of there, you know, shot, but um, just shot in the arm. He goes home and his baby mama's like, nah, see, this is what I was talking about. Who shot you? I don't know. It was one of them Serbians. Okay, well, I know. I know I'm finna pack my bag, heaven bag, and we gone. Nobody's taking my daughter away from me. Nobody. That's how close he was up in her face. <laughs> and she was like, okay. I mean, well, I guess that means you need to come too. Because I'm leaving. And I'm taking her. So if you want to be with her, then I guess you, I suggest you pack your bag too. So that we can go. And, you know, he agrees. And then she's like, well, what about the money? And um, he's like, I ain't got no money. But I'm going to get the money. Well, you know what you got to do. I'm not going over there. You know what you got to do. <laughs> Dre just leaves. And um, he ends up. Hold on. I don't want to lose my place because the back and forth that they do on this show. Like you have to. I, listen, I got to remain abreast. Um. Yeah, that's what I thought. After that scene, they we, we see two bit and spank um at the in the interrogate. Hold on, I gotta make sure my good sis is not falling down. Okay, come here. Okay, she just gonna join the she just gonna join the production. <laughs> um, yeah, Dre and I mean not Dre, two bit and spanks are in the interrogation room with tight lip detective. This is how she talks. She doesn't open her mouth. Maybe her mouth, but her teeth stay just like that. And she's talking to them, trying to get them to talk and roll over on Tommy. And neither one of them are, you know, up for it. Neither one of them are going to do it. Um, they decide to... No, 2-Bit is like, well, yeah, you know how 2-Bit is. Well, you know what I'm going to say next. Since you know what I'm going to say next. It's always so much with his face. You know what I'm going to say next, lawyer. So now she can't talk to him no more. She still got Spanx, though. And Spanx is, you know, she wearing him down. She's scaring him. I don't want to. I ain't trying to do no fed time. And he, she's like, well, you won't have to do fed time if you talk. And in the end, Spanx is just like, you should look into a murder, you know, of a dealer named Pancho. And that was that. Um... Next, we see Dre um, going to his mama's church. He showed up at his mama's church. He done popped up on her. And he lucky that she didn't have that gun with her. Or else Dre would have been dead right there. I mean, at least I would have shot him. He running up on her like that. He's crazy. Rolled up on her. Mama, mama. And she's like, 
mama i ain't seen you or heard from you in i don't know how long are you talking about mama what do you want what you got going on now and um he tells her you know he's in trouble he need this this that and the third he just needs some money to help him out so that he can um leave town with his um girlfriend and daughter and she's like proverbs 13 when are you gonna stop lying andre i done fell for too many of your lies you done lied to me about everything i'm i'm not doing it with you today have a good day and she just walks off so that's a no um he couldn't get it there so now he done popped up on tasha tasha in there in her empty business um he trying to extort her out of fifty thousand dollars and she's like i don't know where it's supposed to come from like do you think i'm supposed to pull it out of my bra do you see kids in here ain't no business since the cops came here raiding, don't nobody bring their kids here. And he's like, it ain't my problem. You know how Dre is. He's always trying to muscle somebody into doing something that he wants them to do. Like, he, he's always extorting somebody. Always. And the fact that he hangs over people's heads like they're crimes, it's just like, you you one more criminal, serial killer, that's you. You doing it too. So what you mean? <laughs> How can you be so self-righteous to run around the, the hood telling everybody you're going to snitch if they don't do this? He's crazy. Um, Tasha don't give him nothing, but she's like, he's like, well, you better get it from Tariq because I know what Tariq is moving. I know he moving something. And she's like, well, yeah, I know you gave him the brick. So if you snitch on Tariq, then you gonna have to tell where you got the brick. And he's like, well, I got the brick from ghosts. So it's all coming back full circle, sis. <laughs> and she had to back down then you know okay well i'll get on the line and call Tariq. then all right you win tell Tariq to meet me Tariq goes and meets him and brings him you know the money he did get from um from um you know selling a little bit off the brick and it's not all of it and you know he's like well you know i'm good for the rest i got you with the rest i'll give you the rest when I can give you the rest. And when I do, I have a little bonus for you if you can do something else for me. What else you want me to do for you, Tariq? Tariq wants him to give him a piece. I need, a, excuse me, I need a piece. A piece? Who are you trying to kill? Uh, Don't worry about all of that. Just, can you get it or no? Nah? <laughs> and he's like, nah, I'm worried because if you get caught, I'm going to be charged with accessory of murder because you going to get caught. And um, Tariq is like, I just need it for protection. Okay, protection. Well, I need something from you too then. This is a tit for tat. Tariq already know what it is. He's just like, listen, man, I can't take you around there. Like, my daddy going to kill you on sight. What you mean? And he's like, well, not when you, not if you there because you going to take me. So they go to, to Truth to go meet up with Ghost. And Ghost is like, you know, Tariq, you done brought my, the enemy up in here. What you doing? What you doing? Hang with him. Now I can't trust you. You hanging with him. <laughs> and Tariq is like, listen, Dad, he knows everything. He know too much about my life. I'm not I'm not finna fool with Dre and, and him always trying to run to the cops. So I had to bring him. I ain't had no choice. He says, all right, whatever. Go ahead. Go on out. We're we going to talk. Close the door. Tariq leaves and um, now we got the standoff between Ghost and Dre. We saw that um, on the last episode, but we didn't see the context. Um, you know what led up to that. <sighs> Long story short, they got this, you know, they go back and forth. Oh, well, I'm a big man. No, I'm the big man. No, you need me. No, you need me. I'm a snitch on you. No, I'm a snitch on you. All of that. In the end, Ghost is like, listen, I got the money, but I got to go get it. And I ain't got all of it. But I'm, I'm going to get you something. I have to go get it. And um, Dre think he going to wait right there. He's like, nigga, you can go. You're not waiting. You're not waiting here. Um, I thought so. Okay, two bit in spank in the um, in lockup. And they, you know, talking amongst themselves like, dang, like. They know everything, you know, and two bits like, yeah, they kind of, they trying to, they trying to get us to roll over on Tommy, but it wasn't Tommy that got us in here. It ain't Tommy. It's not Tommy, man. <laughs> and Spanx is like, who else could it be? 
he that nigga saw us he saw us get locked up it has to be him no nah, i think i think it's somebody else I, th I think it's the other dude the day one the one with the ankle monitor i think i think it's dre too big has to think about that because you know he trusts in the feds and too big's like you trust the feds can't trust them they complicit too you can't trust them <laughs> and um i think in that moment he knew Mm, we in here it's gonna get when when the when it get hot Spanx ain't gonna be able to deal with that and he wasn't <laughs> um but they um they you know both agree okay well it ain't Tommy it's Dre so now you know they're like oh, we're gonna have to see how we can get him um Dre shows up to Tate's office after he couldn't get his money right away. Because he want that money now. Like he wants you to give it to him in his hand right then and there. He don't want to wait. So he going place to place to place. Um, he done went to Tate now. And, and asked Tate. Um, you know I need you to do something for me. Tate's like listen I already did you a favor. Like I got your daughter back. He's like listen I appreciate that. And I just need you to pick up the phone one more time. He wants um, new identities for he and his baby mama. And, um, you know, he's like, listen, that's, a, that's, that's, that's the price you're going to have to pay for that. And Dre is like, listen, I got some information on the St. Patrick's that you're going to want to hear in Tate fashion. You know, he'd be turn, he'd be walking away. And then as soon as you, as soon as he hears St. Patrick's a ghost, he'd be like, tell me more. What do you have? <laughs> and the, the T is, um, the feds is looking into, um, Trey, I mean, not Trey looking into, Tariq for um what's the man name Raymond Jones's murder the um dirty cop he's like how you know that he's like listen because I I'm the one told him he did it <laughs> that's how I know um and so you know he, he's like okay I, I can get you what you need but you know come back later and I got you he leaves Dre leaves out all happy getting on the phone with his girlfriend like yeah we out of here I got the money I got the money girl I told you I'd do it click as soon as he get out as soon as he get off the phone here come all the police and you know he got his hands in the air with the sad sick face face just cracked cause you going to jail now <laughs> you going to jail now he gets in jail <laughs> And he runs into um, two bit in them. But before that, <laughs> these names, y'all, these names. The man, excuse me, can I have your attention? Florence Two Bit Johnson. Florence Two Bit Johnson. Spashwood. <laughs> Spashwood. Spashwood. Spanx Richards. And they both looking at each other like Florence. Nigga, Spashwood, my, I'm 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 named after a judge. You better look it up. So they get called, um, and you know, called out of um, lockup and get transferred like to jail, jail, like to a cell. Um, they got the orange jumpsuits on now and everything. And they both like, dang, how we get in here? Like, I'm trying to get out of here. That's you know, that's making Spanks more uneasy that okay first they was in their plain clothes that there was a chance for them to just walk right out the front door now they've been transferred so that makes them a little uneasy and um while they doing that a guard walks by and hands two bit a phone a burner and he immediately gets a call from ghost he's like Nigga, did you the one moved us what's up <laughs> and you know ghost is like he's like was it was it tommy that you know set us up and he's like no nah, it wasn't tommy it was the other one your other day one they automatically knew and both you know they had this conversation this back and forth looking listen y'all in there with dre dre finna show up in about a couple of minutes i need for you to take care of that when he get there too bad like bet bet i want him dead anyway of course i'll do it we in and um he's like listen i'll take care of your family and he's like well my friend in here too you gonna take care of him too ghost was like if he help you do the deed yeah i got his family too so he gets off the phone agrees and gets off the phone and you know and spanks like what's up and he tells him <laughs> what the job is and spanks reaction is hilarious florence <laughs> no no that's not his francis no his name is florence florence now, if we get caught doing a job in here, we cook. 
<laughs> and two bit is like, listen, we cooked either way it go. Federal time, uh, you know, um, what's what's the other? It's federal prison, and I can't think of the other one. But anyway, he's like, listen, time is time. If you know what you're doing, if you know how to work it, if you know how to, you know, move around here, you good. Then um, Dre does end up showing up. Um, that's what I thought. I wrote Florence down, but his name is Francis. That's what I thought his name was. He said Francis. Now, <laughs> if we get caught doing a job, we cooked. Francis. My bad, y'all. Francis. I thought so. Um... They set it up, you know, they go, they immediately go out there and see Dre sitting, you know, in general population and somebody passes along a shank because, you know, people, everybody's involved. Somebody passes him a shank and he finna go do the do. And as soon as he does that, Dre sees him and, you know, gets all scared and he's about to, you know, walk up on somebody and try to start a skirmish. But before he could do that, the guard comes and calls him, you know out into the interrogation room <laughs> and he all excited like yes safe by the bell yeah what y'all gonna do now see ya <laughs> and he goes in there with um tight lip detective and she's like listen i don't know what happened but <laughs> they got you they they done arrested you for that man's murder um unless you talk and tell me what i want to hear you listen i can get you out today and she coerces him into um, giving a false statement about witnessing ghost kill um, Terry Silver. We know he wasn't there. We know he ain't seen none of that. But she really talked him through that. You saw him at the... Because at first he said at his house, no, at the garage. Yeah, the garage. And I saw him pull out a gun and, nah, he strangled, he strangled him. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he strangled him. Yeah, that's what he did. He strangled him. So, Dre lines just so he can get out of jail. Um, They see 2-Bit and, and um, Spank see him leaving. They see him getting processed out. And they're like, how how he get out of jail so fast? And 2-Bit's um, like, the only way you get out of here like that is if you done snitched on somebody. Is if you a rat. And Spank's like, God damn snitch such a rat <laughs> so immediately too big get on the burner and calls tommy i don't even know where tommy is he's like he's sitting in the car and you know he lets him know um who it was you know like it was dre and i now i want you to handle that he out there he out where you are handle that please and tommy's like listen that ain't got nothing to do with me i got too many people to handle and besides that i done heard that somebody else in the crew done drop poncho body on me too big looked up like hmm did they i know who that could have been he knew he knew um spanx um you know <laughs> still on the lookout looking around and he looking at him like yeah nigga. i know i know you the one i know you the one and it's and i think it's disheartening to him because they they cool you know like that's his boy so he i'm sure he's disappointed that he's a rat too <laughs> so Oh well. Um Oh yeah, Dre cuz he got he left and you know the the deal with with the feds is, you know, when when you talk, they just feel they promise you they're going to put you in wit set. So they riding out um and Dre Think they they trying to take Dre to witness protection and you know he looking around seeing how he can get out and he tells him he got to pee and um they end up pulling over and Dre runs and this part was weird to me he runs and uh, runs to his mama house breaks in her house he gets the key off you know out of out of a artificial rock and breaks in the house and she in there sleep he go in her <gasps> excuse me he go in her closet to try to steal her jewelry and she click i knew it you still evil you still wicked up in here trying to steal from me and he's like you know what all my life 
you've been talking to me like this. You've been calling me evil and wicked and all of these bad, terrible things. You've been speaking into my life and you wonder why I turned out the way that I turned out. And he ended up getting the gun from her and pointed it right back at her. And she still had the nerve <laughs> to be talking mess. You got a gun in your face. You should be kissing his tail. Not running off at the mouth like he won't shoot you. He didn't like he got real. He was mm, I want to shoot you right in your face, but he didn't do it because that's his mama. All he did was said to her, you know what? You know why you ain't never met heaven? Because of this right here. You know why? And, and I named her heaven a place where me or you ain't never going to see. Bitch. He should have did her like that before <laughs> before leaving because she was terrified, terrified. OK, couldn't even breathe. She didn't breathe until after he left. And then it was, <laughs> girl, please. You done mistreated that child his whole life. Verbally abused him because she's a super saint. You know, one of those that's going to beat you over the head with scripture and, you know, rhetoric, religious, religious, religious rhetoric and um, her ideologies about everything. Just judgy. You know, she and she the worst kind of Christian. She the worst. And those are usually ones that run their kids off. Run them right. Run them right out the house because you're just doing a lot. You're doing a lot. Um, but he, when he leaves, he ends up getting in the car with his baby mom in heaven. And I'm like, did he call him on the line? Like, how did they get there? He was, he had gotten out the car with the, with the FBI and ran to his mama house. So in that time, did he get on the line and say, Hey, meet me at my mama house. I'll be, I'm, I'm running to my mama house. When? How did she get there? Now, writers cannot do that kind of stuff because it has to make sense. I know it's fictional, but it's got to make sense. How did she get there and why does she know to be there? Anyway, she was there outside the, outside the house. And, um, you know, he gave her the jewelry and she's like, what is what are we supposed to do with this? And he's like, that's all she had. That's all you took. Took all that lady's jewelry. What y'all going to do with that? Anyway, um, he goes back to, to Tate and, um, you know, to, to go collect what, he, what Tate said that he was going to give him. And Tate's like, I got something better for you. Pulls out a hundred, a hundred thousand dollars and sits it on the table. And he's like, that's yours. If you do a job for me. And Dre is like, Bet, what job? What I got to do? And he tells him kill ghosts. Oh, I, oh, that ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. I can do that. That ain't no problem. <laughs> I'll do it for free. Um, but, you know, he's he's like, first he's like, I need, I'm going to give you half. Tate, Tate told him, I'm going to give you half. Now I have later. And Dre's like, whoa, nah, I'm going to need all of that up front. And he gives him this, you know, lean, he leans into it. I got you. I got you. You can trust me. Take me. You trust my word. My word is bond. I got you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And Tate looking at him. Oh, that was nice. That was that was a good one. That was good. I like how you leaned in there and everything. That was good. That was good. You should have ran. You should have got in politics, my nigga. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> but I don't trust you when we know your word ain't worth it. So. So they um, he ends up he was like, but I'm gonna give you the money anyway. He ends up giving him the money. And let me hurry up because this thing told me my phone battery low. But anyway, he gave him the money anyway and was like, because I got insurance, you know, your license plate, all of this information that I'm giving you, I have still. And I will leak it to whomever I need to leak it to if you do not kill ghosts. If he ain't dead by the night, then everybody going to know who you are, Mr. Eric. Um, it was Eric Anthony Davidson or something like that. Um. Yeah, Eric Anthony Davidson. Um, so he yeah, he he gonna reveal it if he don't if he don't do the job. So he leaves and um gets in the car with the baby mom and she's like he's like, I got the money, I got the money and she's like, How did you get the money? Let's go and he's like, Um, but I gotta do something right quick before we leave and she's like, No, 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 forget all that. Let's just go. What he gonna do? What can he do? He can't he can't turn you in because if he turns you in, then he has to tell where, you know, he got all of this 
uh, all of these illegal documents. So, yeah, now nah, we good. Let's just go. He's like, dang, you're right. Yeah, let's go. And he's thinking about it. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> and he turns around to go back to truth and get um, ghosts. And when he gets there and gets, you know, he's going inside or whatever to do it. And um, he he hears the gunshot. <coughs> Bless you. And then runs into tight lip detective on the way out and cold cocks her right in the eye um, and keeps it pushing. Gets in the car and they roll out. Uh, while they're leaving and then they arguing at the light <laughs> she's like i told you we should have left because he came back to the car in a panic so she's like what's going on what's going on no nah, don't worry about it let's just go let's just go press the gas drive 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 and at the light he looks over and thinks he sees tommy and he probably did see tommy <laughs> but he thinks he sees tommy he's just paranoid really and um they stop at a gas station and he going inside and you know shopping around and when he pays for his food um he sees on the news that ghosts had been slain. So he's like, got everything I need. Thank you. You have a nice day. And he leaves and he walking out and I knew it. First, I thought somebody was going to shoot him dead. <laughs> I was going to see the cynicism in me be making me feel like, you know, the shoe is always about to drop. But they didn't. He didn't get shot. He ended up getting arrested again. Um for you know that murder they got him again um and they take him away and he all sad or whatever because <laughs> his daughter heaven she had to watch that and that's sad that's that's disappointing she she's she's going to remember that she's definitely going to remember that um when he gets in there his baby mama comes to visit and she's like you just had to go back. He's like, listen, don't start that. I'm here now. Don't start that. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. What coulda happened. Uh-uh, girl, she's speeding up. Sorry, guys. Um, And she's like, she's like I, I just, I had to get some help from somebody. And um, she gets, she goes, you know, mama comes in. And he's like, what you, know, what you going call her for? And she's like, because I'm all y'all got. That's why she called me, because she's smart. She's smart, unlike you. Yeah, I'm going to take care of your baby. Don't you even worry about it. And you know why I'm helping you? Because I love you. You're still my son, even though you are a hellion. <laughs> I love you anyway. And she's uh, his mom is a little, mm, I don't know. She's. She's mean, spirited, definitely coming in there. Yeah. And she's beautiful, Dre. I'll make sure she grows up the right way. Girl, it's your fault. And, and you're going to make sure that she grows up just like her daddy. Because you ain't raising nobody the right way, talking to him like that, calling him a demon and stuff. Like, how can you speak that kind of crap, that kind of negativity <laughs> on your child and then not expect all of that to come into fruition like our words we ha what we say out our mouth it's gonna happen <laughs> like that's just how it works that's just how this 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 whole spiritual thing works that's the manifestation all of that that's how it works you saying it out your mouth okay at some point it's gonna manifest itself because you keep saying it so you're gonna call this child a demon and wicked and all of that and evil of course, that's that's who he grew up to be. And don't do that. Don't try that mess with heaven. Luckily, well, hopefully, um, Dre's mama, you know, won't have it. <laughs> but I could see her talking to Dre's mama like that. I mean, not Dre's mama, Dre's baby mama like that. Anyway, they leave out. And, you know, essentially, that's the last time they're going to see him. Because she say goodbye, goodbye. Say goodbye to your father, heaven. And, he, you know, he talks to her and it's kind of sad because it really is the last time he will see her um and aside from what happened to him i think that would have been the last time he saw her anyway because mama was talking like she's never coming back i ain't never gonna see you again because she's like listen you my son but you right where you belong you right where you need to be in here and now i can take your baby and raise her like i want to <laughs> away from you it's so sad 
they leave out and you know that's the end of that um dre goes back you know out into population um let me make sure i don't skip nothing y'all i'll be having to check these notes yeah goes back to general population and two bit and mc oh he's back christmas came early two bit gets up he finna go over there and dre is scared so he immediately just starts to fight with some big dude um put putting on his head and everything like he ready for the beat down and of course the man's like listen you just earned yourself a week in the hole that's all he needed to hear he get to the hole thinking he all safe and then all of a sudden somebody starts throwing in wet towels like soaking wet towels and he's like what what the what you doing what you doing and spank peek his face in oh hey dre i thought that was you you done fucked up now you done messed up now two bit both of them out there he squirts some gasoline on his clothes he's like y'all ain't got to do this man y'all ain't got to do this come on y'all ain't got to do this i got think about heaven i got a daughter y'all ain't got to do this and they like yeah 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 whatever you a rat and rat you know what happens to rats it is what it is i'm sorry you know it was nice knowing you but that ship has sailed <laughs> and they light him up set him on fire in that cell and then two <laughs> spanks took went the extra mile to make sure he covered up the bottom of the door you know so the smoke wouldn't come out it was it was kind of sad as much as i wanted dre to meet his demise i didn't like to i didn't want to see that and i i was kind of i don't know i felt kind of bad it was like oh no i don't like to see that kind of stuff i don't want to see nobody tortured like that like burning somebody alive Whew. that's dark um so that's the end of dre i mean i think he got another job anyway <laughs> so he all right dre all right um but we don't we still don't know like i ain't seen ghost body y'all told me he's slain but i want to see him in the casket dead that's when i believe that something has really happened to him um two bit you know tells no does he yeah he, he calls tommy back um did he call tommy back let me make sure i'm saying i'm um I'm, I'm right yeah after that after they set drain on fire two bit is in his cell laying down and he gets up to go um, I guess to go to Spank's cell and Spank ain't there. The room cleared out. He asked the guard, what? What happened to him? The guard was like, oh, he he just got processed to be released. I guess he had a better lawyer than you. Yeah, better lawyer my behind. So then he gets back on the phone with Tommy. And Tommy is like, he tells Tommy, listen, no, nah, yo, I know who I know who dropped the body on you. I know who put that body on you. And he was like, Oh, just the person I want to speak to then. Who who? Who is it? And he's like, Spanx, he out now, and he he out now, which is disappointing. He not and, and I mean, you don't, you ain't no better, two bit, telling Tommy what he did. Because if that was my friend, my friend, friend, I would just have to take that as a lie. I would just have to be like, hey, friend, you really snitched. That's between me and you. <laughs> like I'm not gonna try to get you killed. You ain't wrong me. Um, but you know how two bit is. He just gangster all the time, gangster. And then we see Spank um, signing the papers to get out. And he's going into witness protection as well. And he's like, listen, so Tommy ain't going to find out about this, right? And tight lip detective. No, nah, he'll never find out. Lies. He already knew. Lies, lady. And I'm trying to figure out how Tommy knew that. That means, I don't know who, she ain't been talking to nobody. Like, I mean. I don't know. I'm. I'm. Re I don't know. They didn't show that neither. You know, the writers like to just throw stuff in there. Sometimes they didn't show that either. So I don't know. Um, but he's sitting there waiting. You know, waiting on his ride because she said, you know, your ride coming. And he's sitting there waiting on his ride, and he sees Angela Valdez's sister. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's gonna be important. That, you know, for the next episode, but. She showed up and that was the end of the episode. A lot of people didn't like it, but I liked it. It tied up loose ends. Um, although 
I'm still trying to figure out how baby mama got to mama's house after he done fled the fled the scene with the FBI. They they could have at least showed him on the phone, <laughs> texting her or something like, I'm about to make a break for it. Meet me at my mama's house. Then it would make sense. He just sh shows up to his mama's house, breaks in, leaves, and his, his baby mama just happens to be outside. Anyway, I got a few like I got a few more um things to upload. I'm gonna just upload this one. I ain't gonna be able to get no um I ain't gonna be able to get Housewives done until maybe tomorrow. Housewives and Married to Medicine, I'll do tomorrow. Cause I'm gonna do Married to Medicine <laughs> review. I mean um reunion one, two, and three. All at once. Yeah. Same thing with Housewives. Since I missed the last week, I mean I missed episode nine and episode 10, the review that is. So I'll probably have that, excuse me, for you guys tomorrow. I'm hungry, so I'm going to go get me something to eat. Be sure, oh, I got to check y'all about commenting and subscribing and liking. Y'all have to, please, thank you. I see you watching it, but I would like to have some feedback. Like, I want to talk to y'all. Just like y'all talk to me about this stuff on Facebook um, or wherever else, please and thank you. Can I get some conversation out of you guys, please? Um, yeah, be sure to rate, comment, 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 rate, rate. Rate means like it. Hit the like button. Hit the thumbs up. Not the thumbs down. The thumbs up. Hit that. Hit the bell so that you get a notification when I do upload and comments so that we can have, you know, a conversation because that's what this is about. I, I ain't trying to just be talking to myself um, and subscribe to the channel. The channel is Call Me Busby. And yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Peace and light.